kids, welcome home. You mean welcome home from our other home? Right, welcome back to my house from your dad's house. Why don't you unpack your things and then maybe we can have a little snack. Oh, yes! Mm. Oh, it's here, <laughs> my math notebook. I remembered it this time. Whew. May not like you, but I'm glad you're here. She shoots, she scores. No, 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 no! I knew I forgot something! Mom, okay, I know it's late, but we have to go back to Dad's, okay? It's, it's an emergency! Lily, you okay? Did you forget your math notebook again? No, I... Mm. I forgot Cozy Corn. Oh, sweetie. I know, Cozy Corn is very important, but it's too late to go all the way back to your dad's tonight. I'm sorry. You'll have to do without Cozy Corn until tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, Lily. You're in the double digits now. That's way too old to still be sleeping with a gross, ratty old stuffed animal. No, I don't need to sleep with it. I just, no, I don't like leaving stuff at Dad's when we're gonna be at Mom's all week is all. I have no problem sleeping without Cozy Corn, like, at all. Right, I'm too old to sleep with a stuffy. I mean, I'm 10. That's like practically a teenager. I need to grow up because I'm pathetic. <sighs> oh, I know. I'll just breathe like I did on Unicorn Island. That helped. So. <sighs> Ugh, forget it. I'm going to be awake forever. <laughs> and then. The zombie starts rattling the doorknob, trying to get inside, because the owner forgot to lock the door. <laughs> oh, caramel sauce! Lilycorn, you nearly scare the filling out of me. <laughs> Not a zombie. Not a zombie. Whoa! Wait, are you having a sleepover? Yep. And guess who fell asleep before any of the fun stuff? Frank, per usual. I'm so sorry, Lilycorn. We would have invited you, but you weren't around. And also, uh, are you okay? Are you kidding? Better than okay now that I'm here. I love sleepovers and scary stories. <laughs> but you came in screaming and- She said she's fine, Poppy. Keep going with your story. Oh, okay. So, the zombie gets inside. And the popcorn colonel runs to hide in an empty cupboard. Hurry, hurry, hurry! The colonel watches through a crack in the cupboard door as the zombie searches for him. The zombie will never find him there unless it can hear the colonel breathing. <gasps> the zombie opens a nearby closet instead. Phew! But, uh, Pep, am I making it too scary? Are you okay? I'm just tired. Keep going. I'll just rest my eyes for a minute. Okay, sleep tight. <clears throat> the colonel continues to hold its breath as the zombie stumbles closer. Except the colonel forgot to dust <gasps> today. So there's dust all over the cupboard, and the colonel is allergic. <laughs> Don't sneeze. Don't do it. But the colonel can't hold it any longer and sneezes, and the zombie swings open the cupboard door. <sighs> but just as the zombie finds the colonel, the sun comes up, melting the zombie. But the colonel learned its lesson and always did his daily dusting. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I thought vampires are destroyed by sunlight, not zombies. It's a type of zombie that's sensitive to sun. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. That story was awesome, Poppy, and so terrifying. I'll probably never sleep again. <laughs> got another scary story, Poppy? Oh, I've got a ton, but... <sighs> it's my bedtime. Oh, yeah, totally. No, I'm tired, too. <laughs> <sighs> the perfect sleep lighting. I, I, 
can sing us a lullaby to help us fall asleep after the scary story. Okay. <clears throat> Here's ten ways to stay safe from zombies, ten ways to stay safe. Number ten, make sure you lock the door. That's one way to stay safe. Number nine, double check you lock the door. That's ten ways to stay safe from zombies. <sighs> oh, great. Poppy sung himself to sleep, and now I can't fall asleep in two worlds. <sighs> I miss Cozy Corn more than ever. No, no, no. No grains. Just frosting. <gasps> I told you it's called frosting, not icing. <laughs> <gasps> uh, Pep? <sighs> I thought you were sleeping. Are you okay? I kind of faked being asleep because I didn't want everyone to know I was scared of Poppy's story. I can't stop thinking what would happen if a zombie really attacked the tree fort. I'd obviously get eaten first. Oh, because even zombies can't resist pizza. No, because I'm the one least likely to fight back. I'd roll up in a calzone, or even worse, a stromboli. Which makes the perfect zombie appetizer tasty, but pathetic. Pep, you're not pathetic. Being scared is nothing to be embarrassed about. And you know, I'm also having trouble falling asleep tonight because... Well, because of Poppy's scary story, of course. I mean, there's nothing else bothering me at all. But maybe we can help each other fall asleep? Okay, but how? If only someone else was awake to help us. I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie attack! I knew I should have vacuumed before I fell asleep. Hurry, put the sun in my bucket. I'll melt that ganache head. <laughs> What's going on? Where's the zombie? Sorry, no zombie. Pip and I are just a little on edge and needed help from Dora. Maybe more than we realized. I know it can be so hard to fall asleep. And sometimes the more you try to sleep, the more awake you feel. So let's help you relax and get your minds off of whatever's bothering you. Zombies. Yeah, totally zombies, nothing else. <laughs> let's get comfortable. And then take a deep breath and relax your body all the way down to your toes. <sighs> okay, now let's do a body scan. Noticing how each part of the body feels, starting with your feet. Toes aren't scary. They help me stay balanced when I walk or run from zombies. Now, if you have any thoughts, let them pass by like a cloud. And just focus on how that part of your body feels. Now, let's move up to your belly. Do you notice any grumbling or tingling? And now, your shoulders. And finally, up to the top of your head. As you breathe out, think of someone or something you love, like a friend or a grandparent or even a special toy, and send them friendly wishes, like, I like being around you, or thank you for being my friend. Pineapple phone, you are the best. Cozy Corn, I know you're far away, but you're so special to me because I love how when my day is over and I'm ready for bed, you're always right there waiting for me. <laughs> Plus, you give the best hugs. Wow, that was beautiful. And thank you, Dora. You are also the best. You really are, Dora. Thanks. Anytime. <sighs> still awake, but I can try the relaxation exercise on my own. Okay, taking a deep breath all the way to my toes. <sighs> I'm still awake. Cozy corn! I left a message with your dad saying I'd pick up cozy corn in the morning, but he knew how important cozy is to you, so he dropped him off tonight. 
Well, I, I don't need him. I just, well, you know, I think you're so grown up and strong and brave. And just because you're 10 now doesn't mean you can't sleep with Cozy Corn anymore. There's no rule that says you have to do certain things or be over certain things at a certain age, no matter what your older brother says. You're just saying that because you're my mom, but thanks. Hey, wh what's that in your hand? Oh, Ummer left Mr. Fuzzy Blanket at Dad's house too. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't need it, but just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Cozy, who in my family do you think would trip and fall first in a zombie chase? Be honest. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's who I thought, too. But maybe... Studios.